Ja, Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name's Lizzie and I usually post art related content, but this time I'm here with another holiday vlog. My mum, my sister, and of course myself took a girls trip to Italy and we stayed with some family that lived there. They live in Anguillara Sabazia. I really hope I'm saying that right. It's only our second time visiting Italy, so our first trip was back in 2017. So we're all pretty excited to finally be back here. After our incredibly relaxing afternoon, we decided to walk down to the pier. They actually had a food festival going on, so we thought this would be the perfect opportunity for some authentic Italian food. I'm not sure how authentic this lot is, but we decided to have some arancino. They're probably, it's quite distinctive and quite different. You don't normally get them, so. Look at our meals, so. Let's, let's just go for it. <laughs> I think this is carbonara. Oh, you've got, oh, you've got, you've got, oh, yeah, you've got, yeah. Okay. In Rome. Yours is so chaotic and mine's just neat no, no, and compact. How much grease is on the And of course we could skimp out on any gelato. I feel like it would be a crime if we went to Italy and we didn't have gelato on our very first night there. spent our first day exploring Rome so it only took about half an hour on the train to get there which really isn't that bad at all there were some really lovely views that's my smile and then from the train station it was only a 10 minute walk to St Peter's Square We actually went into St. Peter's Basilica the last time we went to Rome. So the length of the queues encouraged us not to go in this time. So we just explored the surrounding area and just had a bit of fun walking around. Of course, an obligatory gelato pit stop. <laughs> Rome is currently home to the largest collection of Egyptian obelisks in the world. So of the 28 that exist, Rome has 15. Scholars believe that the obelisks represented eternity and immortality and their long form was to connect the earth with the heavens. We did dedicate an entire day to Lake Bracciano because surprisingly 20,000 steps the day prior really drains you of all energy.
We were all quite excited for today because we get to explore Florence. We wanted to do it on our last trip, but didn't have time. The views, the places, the buildings, just the, like the entire atmosphere was incredible. <laughs> Upstairs in the Medici Chapel, this part was definitely a highlight for me of the entire trip. Michelangelo is one of my favourite painters and sculptors of all time. And I was stood here for a good 20 minutes just staring at it. Sensational. The sculptures as well. Like, how does he turn marble into skin and hair and fabric? Like, the boobs, however? <laughs> They're a bit questionable. But how does he do it? It's... I'm baffled. One of those things that you have to be there in person to truly marvel at and like take in is the Florence Cathedral, this building here. It's insane. The photos and the videos do not do it justice. A place that was recommended to us was the Bobbly Gardens. First of all, I love the name, Bobbly Gardens. <laughs> it was such a lovely walk. The scenery, the buildings, the statues, everything was so beautiful. And I, I feel like I'm gonna say that for everything in Florence. And then we walked to the lookout point and we saw the skyline of Florence. There's the Duomo there. Um, it's beautiful, just breathtaking. Hi, Colleen. Oh, it's a big stretch. There are so many little towns and villages nestled around Lake Bracciano. So we decided to visit Trevignano Romano and we thought, let's go out and eat. <laughs> yeah, this one there. We then ended the day on the lake with our stomachs stuffed with food, feeling very content and very full. Another place to tick off my bucket list was the Orsini or the Salci castle in Bracciano. And this is actually the castle that Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes got married in in 2006. There was actually a wedding being prepared for the following day and they were saying how when Tom Cruise got married there, they had to shut it down for two weeks to prepare, which was pretty interesting to learn about. She's about to sing karaoke. We explored the streets and we came across a little pizza place. So we figured we've been in Italy and we haven't had any pizza yet. So that's what we did. The 
the family and other local residents sail here, hence our own little private area. And it was decided that everyone would come along and have a barbecue. So we prepared our salads and brought along some meat, lots of wine, of course, other little nibbles, and just enjoyed the day. People also brought their bongos with them as well. <laughs> Today we had our aunt with us and she wasn't teaching so we decided to go to the crystal bar for a bite to eat and then we hopped in the car and drove to Ostia. Instructions, I always enjoy those, look, for kids I love it. What it looks like now, that's what it looked like then. That's what the river would have done, but now it doesn't. Have to go way out in front of them or behind them? I don't know who's house we're in. Hold that. It's not for very tall people. Oh, duck. Duck again. I'm always doing that too. The sailing thing. The markings for the tracks here where the wheels would have gone. And if you look at the fourth one down there, I've got the three legs, like that's a symbol of Sicily, as well as being the same symbol as the Isle of Man. our aunt became our own personal tour guide for Ostia. She drove us to Monterano, which is a ghost village, an abandoned commune where you can go on a lovely scenic walk to see the ruins. There is an uphill bit here, ladies. Let's go. Once we'd seen everything we could possibly see, we ventured home and had some pizza and arancino. My mum had a couple more basilicas that she wanted to see, so we did exactly that. We went to Rome again to explore those and then we made our way to the Colosseum and the Roman Forum. Forum is an open air area surrounded by the ruins of several important ancient government buildings. So the ancient Romans would have gathered for political, religious, and economic events. We walked to the Trevi Fountain, and I don't know if anyone else does this, but who likes to try and spot the most tacky magnet imaginable? <laughs> um, so, anyways, we got some more gelato, of course, and then we ate that looking at the Trevi Fountain. Don't have your finger in them. Chini <laughs> <laughs> and some mozzarella and some uh, and some scamozza. Scamozza. Today was the day that it decided to rain. That's very ominous. Considering it was forecast to be rainy for our entire trip here, we did well to have sunshine and blue skies for as long as we did. <laughs> Like this. 
We explored the gardens belonging to the Baghese family, which were a noble Italian family whose members were influential on Italian art and politics from the 16th to 19th century. And then it stopped raining, so we grabbed some food. Sure. I'm eating, eating a sandwich. A panini. We then walked up the Spanish steps and then went home to some chickpea and pasta soup. German wine, but they produce in We began our last full day back at the Crystal Bar with the massive donuts and then spent time at the lake despite the huge thundercloud that was looming over us. Oh my god, look at those clouds. We've drifted a lot. You know what though, actually like quite nice with the rain on us. <laughs> it's picked up, we're going in. Oh. See it's like completely died down now. and it started to rain again. We ended the day by having aperitivo at a restaurant none of us had tried before. That's a combination I've never put together. Cheese and honey. And that was my girl trip to Italy. So I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and my voiceover. Um, one day I'll be brave enough to vlog in public, but be sure to check out my travel vlog playlist on my channel as I like to switch things up occasionally from my art related content. All socials will be linked down below as well in the description box for you. And I'll hopefully catch you all on my next video. Bye for now.